Hi everyone, today a look at net ionic equations. Net ionic equations, it's a style of equation writing that only shows substances that actually undergo change during a reaction. Look at the name, it's net ionic equations. Another thing about it is there's absolutely going to be ions in this equation. Because of that, dissociation is an underlying concept that we're going to be implicitly using as we work through the process of coming up with our net ionic equation. Remember that dissociation is when an aqueous compound separates into ions. Sometimes we could call it ionization or more accurately dissociation. Here I have two examples. I have aqueous sodium chloride dissociating into sodium ions and chloride ions, Cl-. The original compound was aqueous. The cation and the ion, anion, were also aqueous. A second example, calcium nitrate dissociating, separating into its ions, a calcium ion, two plus, and two nitrate ions. Notice that because we had two nitrates present in the original compound, we had to balance that dissociation equation with a coefficient of two. Once more, the ions themselves were aqueous, as was the original chemical. When we go through the process of writing out our net ion equations, we are not going to specifically write out dissociation equations. However, you do have to keep them in mind, because as I already mentioned, Association is absolutely implied in the process that we're going to follow. To write a net ionic equation, we're going to follow three steps. The first of which is to write out what we call a non-ionic equation. This is a regular, balanced chemical reaction that we've done a million times. We have to include the states, though, and of course, we're going to balance the equation. There should not be any ions in this first step. It's non-ionic. There are no ions. Then we're going to write what's called a second line, which is the total ionic equation. We're going to do that by thinking about the dissociation for any aqueous compounds in our original reaction. Anything that was a solid, a liquid, or a gas, we're going to recopy down into the next line. Solids and liquids and gases do not dissociate. When we do that, we're going to have a very long line. And we're going to examine that to see if there's anything that's identical on both sides. Anything that shows up the same on either side of the equation, we're going to cancel out. We're going to cross those things out. Those are going to be ions. We're only going to be canceling ions, and they have a unique name. They're spectator ions. They're present in the system, but they are not undergoing change during the reaction, they're spectators. They're present, but they're not participating. They're spectator ions. Want to emphasize the importance of it's identical? Let's not take that for granted. It's exactly the same. A rule of thumb is if everything cancels out, we probably made a mistake. If nothing cancels out, likewise, we made a mistake somewhere. After we cross out those spectator ions, we're going to rewrite whatever is left behind, and that will leave us with our net ionic equation. And I hope that helps.